Hello everyone, I am Esra Can and I will present the paper which I prepared with Dr. Aslak Cemetin. The paper I will present is the literature review on BIM-based building energy performance optimization. This is my general outline. Let's start. Uh, around the world, 30 to 40 percent of all and all primary energy usage come from buildings, and also they make a significant contribution to overall carbon dioxide emission in the world. Since buildings have such a significant impact on the environment, there is a huge attempt to increase the energy efficiency of buildings. For this reason, building energy performance analysis are carried out to predict energy usage so that the improvements can be made. However, building energy systems are quite complex because they are affected by many factors such as building geometry, building orientation, HVAC system type and operating characteristics, building construction detail, building usage, weather conditions. Uh, building energy performance analysis refers to the various assessments and evaluations, and it includes some contextual analysis like solar and thermal energy, ventilation, daylighting, building missing, site orientation, HVAC system. Uh, as building energy performance depends on many parameters and includes includes various analysis, its assessment is a very time-consuming and complicated process. To improve this challenging process, some technological advances are used, such as building information modeling. Building information modeling, uh, in other words, BIM, is a digital representation of a physical and functional characteristics of a facility. A BIM is a shared knowledge resource for information about facility, forming a reliable basis for decisions during its life cycle. BIM has been commonly used in the construction industry and serving many different purposes like design coordination, facility management, and building energy analysis. BIM makes it possible to work with the scenarios uh, to get the best design option and by enabling the collaboration of multiple disciplines. And therefore, it has been used for building uh, performance assessment as well. And BIM, BIM provides opportunities to overcome the limitation of traditional building energy modeling, and such as tedious model preparation, model inconsistency, and uh, cost implementation. Also, it provides more accurate estimation in a shorter time. Uh, BIM is used for estimating the energy performance and also it has the capacity to provide the necessary data for optimizing the energy usage of building and by changing uh, parameters that affect the energy consumption. However, it's unfortunately uh, not possible to uh, optimize consumption results uh, directly in BIM software with a single click because there are some technical constraints uh, created by building uh, simulation and optimization tools. Uh, for example, uh, the main limitations are the lack of automatic comparison between different conditions. Also, um, currently only one way BIM is possible, uh, which means that it's not possible to return building performance simulation or optimization information uh, back to the original model. So it requires remodeling efforts with uh, well-documented change management. And optimization can be carried out with a, a few extra operations after the energy analysis results are obtained. And this study aims to review the literature on BIM-based building energy performance optimization in order to provide the methods that can be used in the building energy performance optimization. And when the literature is reviewed, uh, it's seen that the majority of the studies conducted energy optimization and by using integrated uh, parametric analysis, analysis tools or uh, optimization algorithms. Uh, I would like to uh, go on with the parametric analysis tools. Uh, parametric modeling uh, is one of the most important characteristics of BIM. It provides generative modeling by using building parameters and rules. Uh, parametric design tools allow designers to discover all possible alternative solutions and make decisions based on the performance of building. 
And an IG performance data obtained through BIM is not enough to provide the uh, building optimization directly. It is easier to perform this optimization in BIM environment by using parametric modeling capabilities or with extra tools. As you can see in the table, uh, some of the studies optimize the parameters uh, like building orientation, building envelope components, uh, facade of building uh, through a BIMS and IG simulation tools and uh, by comparing, uh, optimize them uh, by comparing the result manually. Uh, some of them are develop a methodology like uh, terminal opt, uh, which uh, integrates an automated workflow from a, a parametric BIM model uh, to an, an energy simulation engine and daylighting simulation engine uh, using the industry foundation classes. Uh, another study uh, proposed a BIM-based building energy simulation and optimization tools uh, that helps to optimize the building parameters. Another study evaluated the uh, Revit to a Green Building Studio optimization application, uh, which automatically links Autodesk Revit and Autodesk uh, Green Building Studio, and also enables uh, to optimize building energy performance at the early phase of the design uh, parametrically. I would like to go on to the another topic, uh, optimization algorithms. Algorithms are a widely used uh, methods to achieve building energy performance optimization. Generally, algorithms are used to optimize the data obtained from BIM. Uh, as BIM is uh, compatible with many data exchange formats and tools, uh, algorithms can be easily applied. Uh, optimization algorithms can be grouped into three main categories and direct search uh, algorithms, intelligent optimization algorithms and hybrid algorithms. And uh, intelligent al optimization algorithms are the most widely used one. Uh, genetic algorithms uh, is one of the intelligent uh, optimization algorithms uh, that can solve nonlinear optimization problems. Uh, in this table, you can see the studies which are used to uh, genetic algorithms to uh, optimize the building energy performance. Uh, some of the studies are used the genetic algorithms platforms after obtaining the energy performance result from the BIM based model. And some of them integrated BIM-based building energy performance simulation system and, and daylighting tools and then use genetic algorithms for optimization. Uh, in the first study of this table, uh, a hybrid algorithm was used. And they integrated two well-known artificial neural network and decision tree algorithms uh, to obtain the best solution for energy optimization functions and enhance the accuracy of the data-driven uh, energy modeling and prediction. In the last study, they compared the uh, three commonly used optimization algorithms, uh, one direct search algorithm and two intelligent algorithms um, through a case study. In the case study, they optimized different design variables like uh, position of window orientation, and thermal conductivity. And these three algorithms are compared uh, considering different performance indices like stability, relativity, speed, uh, coverage. Uh, it, is one, it was concluded that uh, no algorithm performs best in all areas, and therefore the algorithm must be carefully uh, selected according to the nature of problem and design variables. And to sum up, uh, in, this study, in this study, the literature on BIM-based building energy performance optimization is real. Uh, BIM's ability to interact with uh, numerous software and tools and uh, to easily exchange data makes it possible to uh, make, makes it possible to it with different methods and optimization techniques. Uh, it is seen that the most of the studies in the literature and uh, use the parametric analysis tools or optimization algorithms uh, to optimize the building uh, performance uh, after obtaining a BIM-based energy assessment. 
And there is no method that takes into account and optimizes all parameters and works efficiently in several different case studies. Although each method has its advantages and limitations, it is seen that it provides optimization for only specific cases. In the progress of time, it is highly probable that this optimization technique will be further developed or different optimization technique will be emerged. And it is certain that BIM is going to be actively involved in this improvement of this optimization process. And this is all I want to mention. And these are my reference lists. Thank you for your attention. If you have any question, you can uh, contact me with this email address.